Permaculture design is an ecological and sustainable approach to designing systems that meet human needs while regenerating and restoring the health of the natural environment. The term, permaculture, is derived from, permanent agriculture, and, permanent culture, reflecting its focus on creating enduring and sustainable systems. Permaculture design principles can be applied to various contexts, including agriculture, landscaping, urban planning, and community development. Here's how permaculture design works and how it contributes to the creation of sustainable ecosystems. Observation and Interaction Permaculture design starts with careful observation of the natural environment and its patterns. Designers study the land, climate, water flows, and existing ecosystems before planning interventions. Interaction with the environment involves working with nature rather than against it, understanding the ecological processes and cycles that govern the site. Holistic Design Permaculture takes a holistic approach, considering the interconnectedness of elements within a system. Designers aim to create integrated and synergistic relationships between components, ensuring that each element serves multiple functions. Zoning and Sector Analysis Permaculture design often involves zoning, where different areas of a site are designated based on the frequency of use and the needs of specific elements. This helps in efficient planning and management. Sector analysis considers external influences such as sunlight, wind, water flow, and noise. Designers utilize these external factors to enhance or mitigate their effects on the site. Use of renewable resources. Permaculture emphasizes the use of renewable resources and the reduction of dependence on non-renewable inputs. Designers seek to harness natural energy flows, such as sunlight and wind, to meet energy needs sustainably. Biodiversity and polycultures. Permaculture encourages the cultivation of diverse plant and animal species. Biodiversity is seen as a key element for ecosystem resilience and productivity. Polyculture, or the cultivation of multiple species together, helps mimic natural ecosystems and reduce the risk of pests and diseases. Water conservation and management. Permaculture designs often incorporate water conservation and management strategies. This can include rainwater harvesting, swales, contour planting, and other techniques to optimize water use and prevent soil erosion. Soil building and conservation. Permaculture places great importance on building and maintaining healthy soils. Practices such as composting, cover cropping, and mulching are used to enhance soil fertility, structure, and water retention. Energy efficiency. Permaculture designs aim to maximize energy efficiency by minimizing waste and utilizing energy flows in a closed-loop manner. For example, designing elements that provide shade or windbreaks can help create microclimates and reduce energy needs. Community engagement and social design. Permaculture extends beyond the physical landscape to include social aspects. Community engagement and participation are integral to permaculture design, fostering collaboration, resilience, and a sense of community ownership. Adaptability and feedback loops. Permaculture systems are designed to be adaptable and responsive to changing conditions. Feedback loops are essential for continuous learning and improvement, allowing designers to refine their approaches based on observations and experiences. By incorporating these principles, permaculture design aims to create regenerative and sustainable ecosystems that benefit both the environment and the people interacting with them. The goal is to design systems that not only meet human needs but also enhance biodiversity, conserve resources, and promote ecological health over the long term.